Hello, I'm Ronnie Burkett. I'm a puppeteer and I create marionette shows that I perform in theaters across Canada and around the world. And when I'm not on tour, I'm here in my studio in the Roncesvalles Dundas West area of Toronto. Uh, luckily for me, I was supposed to be home at this point. It's been a really busy touring season. I've uh, been on the road since October, basically, and uh, was meant to be off-road right now. The rest of my season is canceled, as many things are around the world. But I'm in my happy place, and uh, in puppetry, this place is known as Puppetland, and it is in a storefront. And I'm very fortunate that I live in the apartment upstairs. So self-isolating, it's kind of a no-brainer for me. I'm either on tour or I'm in here making new work. So... I've got all the stuff I need. Uh, look at this room. I Personally, I've, I'm a little biased. I think this is the most beautiful room in the world. Uh, I've got everything I need. Tins of vintage lace, fabric, supplies to build puppets, art supplies and paint. And the best thing, the best draw about this room is that wall of books. Because conservatively, there's about 1,500 books on puppetry. You want to know about German puppetry, Asian puppetry, Polish puppetry? You want to know about French? Uh, I got it all. And even if I don't have the answer, the books do. So that wall of books has become a bit of a draw with younger puppeteers who seek me out. And I go upstairs and I cook for them and we have a beautiful courtyard out back and we talk puppetry and they look at the books. And it's really been a great connection for me for the new generation of young puppeteers who are coming up. Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the silliest room in this whole building, though. It's actually my favorite room, and it's the smallest room in the whole building. It is my man cave. It's my wood shop, but it's really, really, really small. But it's the happiest place for me to be. Look how small this is. There's my rather large bandsaw, because if you're a puppet boy, you need a bandsaw. All the books when I was a kid said, get yourself a bandsaw. And I was like... What's a bandsaw? Well, now I have this beautiful bandsaw and I have this great room and I can sit in here and happily carve and joint marionettes. And I've got all the tools I need, including some tools from one of my mentors. Um, it's a great room to be in. So what am I going to do? I'm going to worry about my neighborhood because there are so many fine small businesses in, uh, just on my street, never mind Roncesvalles Avenue, which is, well, hands down, the best neighborhood in the whole city. But we have bars and restaurants and coffee shops, booksellers, hardware stores, veterinary clinics, so many wonderful community businesses, and they've become friends and and I don't know if I've ever lived in a better community than the one I live in right now, in this really wonderful building that has everything I need to create. So that's what I'm going to do. That's the only response I've ever had when the world changes or when something is confusing. I think when we come out of this, we'll be changed. We have to be changed. And so I'm going to make up a story. I've got time and I've got the supplies to do it. And I can't wait for that day when the audience comes back into those rooms we call theaters and we create a story together, because that truly is what this whole building is about. Please be well, please be safe. And I'll see you all on the other side of this.